Hey, what's up? This is Joe. This video is going to take you by ferry to the magical island of Bahol, where we'll encounter the chocolate hills, waterfalls, a freaky looking species of monkey, bamboo shacks in the jungle, gnarly mountain roads leading to the middle of nowhere, and a host of unusual and interesting characters. Having spent the last couple of weeks in Cebu City getting caught up on videos, I was just about ready to do some more adventuring. An hour ferry ride south lay the enormous island of Bahol, a place known for immense rice fields, unusually shaped mountains, and an endangered monkey with giant eyes known as the Tarshir. Right, on a little bit of a wild goose chase to find the actual ticketing office. I think it's right here. This is kind of like a little airport or something because uh, they've got all these different gates. Different gates because there's over 7,500 uh, islands that make up the archipelago of the Philippines, so there's just ferries going from back and forth to everywhere. As somebody told me yesterday, a ferry actually sank. The capacity on it was something like 300 and they packed like 500 people on there and it actually sank. One person died, I think, but uh, uh, you know, luckily they were close enough to shore. A couple of days prior, I had contacted a man in Tubigon about renting a motorbike. Waiting on the uh, motorcycle to uh, be returned. It's about 2 p.m. He's telling me sometime around 4 p.m. Uh, meanwhile, I left my suitcase with uh, that guy and got a rotisserie chicken. So rotisserie chicken's here pretty cheap. It's a really touristy place. Uh, as soon as you get off the ferry, you're just assaulted by people trying to give you rides and sell you stuff and, and all that. It's not something that really sits right with me. I'm trying to take it with a grain of salt. I love this country. This is one of my favorite countries on earth, if not my favorite. Uh, it's like somebody else was telling me. And these are the words of a Filipina. She said, we're the Mexicans of Asia. If you've ever been to Mexico and you come here, you'll see the comparisons right away. I'll hopefully be back on two wheels at some point. Otherwise, be looking for a place to make camp uh, outside of this town uh, on foot, I guess. Okay, so I just rented this uh, moto, finally found one from this guy. <laughs> and with a head of hair like that, how can you not trust this guy? <laughs> so anyway, we got this thing uh, all outfitted, all my junk uh, loaded up on the back and probably end up changing that at some point. But my motorcycle rental up. There you go, what's the name of your business? The Bigon Bohol Motorcycle for Rent. There you go. Message me on Facebook, WhatsApp, or uh, Messenger. By the time I'd gotten the bike packed and started riding, I was losing daylight fast and already feeling raindrops. Feeling some raindrops, uh, we'll see what happens, man. Um, unfortunately, this is a 125, it's got a really small storage compartment here under the seat, so I wasn't able to get my laptop in there. Not being able to fit my laptop into the waterproof storage compartment was kind of a big deal. Instead, I had to throw the whole operation into a shitty trash bag and hope I didn't get soaked.
efforts in trying to find a camp spot out here were thus far unsuccessful, but there was one place I'd spotted on the map which appeared to be some type of a campground. Hey, Mayo Gabi. Mayo Gabi, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for this place called Dapao Nature Stay. Oh, for oh. camping. Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're that's, it, that's, it, that's, that's the that's a place, but is it nearby? Actually, this is the this is the actual place, but according to the description, if you can see here, uh -huh. I think it's under construction. Oh, it's under construction. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anywhere else? Do you know of any other like camping? Do you want to stay in the like in the top of the mountains for camping? No, just easy, simple. It's getting dark, so Have I can't. Have you tried um, nearby there over like, like like this one? Okay, no. It was like a mini mini hut, like a very small. Okay. Hut, but it's good. Okay. It's good. All right, for, cool. I want, a, I want to stay, but it, it's not. Yeah, it's just not a like, one night stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but if you're looking for a comfortable room, if like like air conditioning or no, just uh, uh, fresh air. I'm like, very poor, <laughs> so so I'm looking for the cheap option uh, here. Actually, it's not it's not that expensive. Like okay. maybe like 500 pesos for Let's night. See, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, 500 yeah, pesos yeah. is good. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like 1,200. But no, I saw <laughs> this like there's like a hostel. There's yeah, five yeah, Chloe's yeah, yeah. Paradise. And they're just like they're just like uh, the same for like. Mini okay. hat, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, that's yeah, good. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. You're just alone here? Where yeah, you from? yeah, Where yeah. You from? Uh, America. Is your first time here or no? Yes. Oh, I was in uh, Cebu yeah. City for uh, Sinolog. Oh, that's great. That's so, great. Uh, it's, it's been great. So, yeah. we also celebrated uh, like Sinolog here in, in a town in Batuan. Like, in Batuan, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but it's not Sinolog. We call it like, sort of like Gimbawan. Like a, uh, a, a mini version of Sinolog. Oh, no kidding. That's not, that's, that's not uh, like, yeah. no much crowd like the man, Sinolog, was, many, many people. They said three million people were there. Oh my God. I don't... All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for your help. Yeah. My name's Joe, by the way. Yeah, that, I'm Nico. Okay, nice have to fun, meet you. Have fun, have fun. Yeah, thank you very you much. Thank you. Maybe like a couple of years from now, we can renovate or construct it. So uh, yeah. Next time I'm here, I'll, I'll yeah, check yeah, back yeah, with yeah. you. Check it out. All right, man. Thank you. I continued heading toward the place the man had pointed out on the map. What followed was a near pitch black ride through several miles of unlit roads. Where are you going? Uh, I look for this uh, hostel. Chloe's Paradise? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. We are the owner. Oh, okay. <laughs> From where are you? Uh, America. Oh, really? It's my yes. first time. If you want, I am not done. I need to check because someone uh, just uh, check out. Uh, yeah. What's the what's the cost? Uh, pilana. Tagila. Wow, you're Tagilana. expert. Five hundred <laughs> each room. Okay. What's your name here? Joe. Huh? Joe. 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 I'm Odelia. Oh, my. Um, uh, my daughter is Chloe. Oh, very cute. <laughs> Chloe's Paradise Hostel. Do you have rice? I, I don't have any rice. Okay, I can give I can give you. Thank okay. you so much. Salama. What time I, do you come here? Uh, I just got here. I took the ferry from uh, Cebu City. And then? And I've just been riding around. And <laughs> I was going to camp because I usually sleep in my tent, but... You are our first American guest. Oh, really? Yeah, always. Always from Europe, and it's a miracle. Well, you're very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> it's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The problem was, you know, by the time I got the bike and started uh, riding and looking for a place, the sun went down, and I just couldn't seem to get out of this like kind of uh, urban sprawl where uh, everything was just full of people or rice fields, and uh, so I couldn't really find a good place to camp. You know, fortunately, just happened on uh, that lady and her daughter walking and. Uh, you know, they gave me a really sweet price on this. Right, very cool. 
sort of bamboo walls. And, uh, this is truly a jungle shack, complete with a uh, mosquito net and all that. Mosquitoes, I guess, can slide in through here, yeah. I'm going to uh, sit here and uh, do some work on my computer, get my GoPro battery charged up, and then tomorrow morning head over to the Chocolate Hills. Uh, you saw a little bit of that uh, today, just these kind of cool sweeping mountains, you know. Anyway, see you in the morning. Okay, so all packed up uh, yet again, making do with this uh, 125, which is significantly powerful. It actually works uh, pretty well. It's just not enough storage space for all my stuff. Out here in these immense uh, rice fields, there's uh, coconut trees, banana trees mixed in with the rice field. In the book uh, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, he uh, cites a study in which uh, a bunch of different cultures were studied uh, as far as problem solving ability. And what they discovered was that uh, Asian cultures will spend more time solving a problem. A lot of that comes from millennia of, uh, of working these kind of rice fields because it's very labor intensive. It takes a lot of work. Over time, it's just kind of been built into the, uh, the DNA of uh, a lot of these rice growing cultures to be very hard working, industrious. <laughs> and I just made some friends, it looks like. Okay. Hey, my own panakita nimo. Okay, bro. Joe, nice to meet you. You work the rice? Oh. Oh, these. What is this? Coconut? Coconut. Oh, coconut. Okay. Oh, there's some coconuts. You grow the coconut in the rice? With yeah. the rice. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Unfortunately, in order to get to the Chocolate Hills, now requires taking a shuttle bus to the top. After about 30 minutes of waiting around, we were on the way. Okay, got something like uh, 100 steps to the top of this uh, overlook over here, so let's go. So as you can see, this just looks absolutely like nothing else on the planet. A little bit of a pain in the ass getting here, honestly, but uh, it's pretty much worth it. where they've got their house and everything. And it's just surrounded by rice fields on all sides. Kind of sort of a, the bridge looks a little rickety. I don't know about that, but uh, just a little island house in the middle of the rice. Hey! This is a uh, Filipino cemetery. I've seen a couple of guys out here harvesting the rice. It looks like it's uh, about ripe. And the kids that live out here in these provinces really get started young, man. They get their, their workout in definitely after school. So anyway, that Chocolate Hills was pretty cool, man. Um, 
it was, you know, like I said, it's kind of a pain in the ass uh, taking the shuttle and waiting around and all that. I got there right when everybody else did, so. The pain in the ass I'm dealing with right now, I've got my laptop in my backpack. You know, I wanted to do some camping out here in the jungle and, uh, and do it like that primitive style, but the uh, fact is I got sensitive electronics I gotta keep dry, so um, it's making me have to kind of like be creative. Uh, if I get caught in some serious rain, I'm just gonna have to pull over and, and find somewhere uh, out of the rain, maybe even another hostel like that, which was like, ate something for the night so anyway we'll see how it goes i'm gonna see if i can find a restaurant or somewhere to get some delicious filipino food it was a damn good thing this bike had a kickstarter otherwise i would have likely been out here for a whole lot longer Do you have limpo? No limpo? Okay. Only chicken. Only chicken, okay. Uh, what is this? What you got? Ah, humba. That is some good stuff. There's the wumba, which is basically like a braised uh, pork belly. That's amazing. Rich, fatty, delicious. In the spice mixture, they got mostly soy sauce, peppercorns, bay leaves. It's, it's got a very Filipino uh, flavor to it. Mostly pork fat. So. <laughs> All right, that homba was uh, absolutely delicious. Uh, if you're ever in the area, check this place out. We're heading south uh, towards the uh, bottom of the island and uh, gonna look for a place to camp out there. There's also the uh, the Tarshir, hey! the Tarshir uh, Sanctuary down there somewhere. going to do this uh, tomorrow but since it's on the way this is the, uh, the Tarshir uh, sanctuary so let's go check it out. As you'll see in a moment the Tarshir is a freaky little monkey with a set of gigantic eyes. In recent years there's been an intensive effort to preserve this vulnerable species. Oh I'm gonna need this. Okay. So this whole uh, forest out here is is totally man-made, uh, creating just the ideal conditions for the Tarshir. I think it's okay right now, but at one point it was like critically endangered. But they're just doing an incredible job of conservation for this uh, really interesting species. There's one. Hanging out about the size of a coffee cup. Having a snooze, it's a... Uh, Nocturnal species, so not typically active during the day. Looks like he's got a nice little house there. Okay, that's the last uh, touristy thing that I'm doing on this island. I don't have the patience for this kind of thing because uh, sometimes you're like in a line of people that's like ridiculously long just so everybody can take their damn picture. I don't know whether these phones are a good thing or a bad thing, honestly. The Tarshir, definitely a cool animal. So anyway, uh, heading down the road uh, this way and um, I will begin uh, looking for a place to make camp. We'll see where I end up. Hopefully I find something, uh, obviously for free would be nice, but uh, if not, I think there's some campgrounds closer to the beach over that way.
After the man-made forest, I took a left and headed in search of what appeared to be some sort of an obscure campground in the middle of nowhere. The thing is, you really can't trust the map around here. conditions went from bad to worse as I suddenly found myself tangled up in some heavy duty hill climbing. When I got to the man's house, he had no idea what I was asking about. My own hop on. Uh, is this a campground? What? Uh, campground? Bagumbayan? Barangay Bagumbayan? Uh, for camping? Uh, Not here? No. Oh, okay, okay. Dagan Salama. Oh, this way. Okay. Is that way? Oh, this way. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this is kind of uh, an anomaly. I don't know if I've ever seen a little park like this built into the hairpin curve. Hey! <laughs> I am uh, not having any luck uh, finding somewhere to camp tonight. Um, apparently there's a campground uh, down the road, but uh, I saw some pictures of it and it just looked like a sea of tents packed together like uh, Skid Row, Los Angeles. So. Uh, I really just don't have a taste for uh, really high touristy areas. After coming up empty-handed yet again, I headed toward the southern coast of the island. Oh my gosh, look at that water. Wow, what a cool thing. Yeah, somebody was telling me about these uh, cruises they have there. Caruso, Enrico Caruso. Like one chicken, please. Uh, spicy. Just haven't really had a lot of luck uh, finding a good spot. Pretty densely populated, and uh, places where people are not living are pretty much rice fields. I was just about to give up hope when I found an insanely good deal on one of those bamboo shacks owned by a half German, half Hungarian who'd been living on this island for quite some time.
these are the digs for the night. With this uh, kind of flooring made out of just these bamboo slats. There's like kind of a sofa right now, but it folds out basically into a bed. And I uh, got this workspace, rice cooker. You know, I have no idea how to cook rice, but anyway, it's there. Uh, a fan. Uh, some of these bamboo slats are like falling apart, so you got to kind of walk on the uh, joist right here. So he's like felt bad about it, gave me a really good deal on it. Hey, what's going on guys? Hi. Guten Tag. This is uh, Thomas. He uh, has got a really cool uh, YouTube channel as well and uh, rides a lot of motorcycles and uh, explores a lot of really kind of sketchy, uh, sort of, I mean, potentially dangerous places. So we're going to head into town, which is about, what, two three, kilometers three, away? Three, three kilometers. Three. And this guy was uh, really nice about working with us on the price because we both booked the same room. So he's like, well, you can split it and he's got a door in between. What's the name of this place? Truth be found. Truth be found. Really good uh, and affordable if you're on a budget. It's always going back to the to, to the straight position. I don't know why. No, never had. on his way back to uh, another island he's uh, a really interesting guy so be sure to uh, go to his youtube channel and check out uh, some of his content it's it's pretty fascinating stuff so now i am uh heading to uh the curviest and uh, craziest looking road uh on the island it looks like going basically due north of uh, here it's not raining today so not raining yet anyway uh, so anyway let's go check out this road Right, little bit of rain but luckily for me i got this umbrella and it's one of the best uh, additions i can possibly imagine i don't have to worry about finding a shelter because i can just pop this up anyway it's raining like a son of a bitch uh, right now uh, the sky is pretty dark i was going to do some camping out here i really was but uh it's cheap as the hostels and uh and kind of these bamboo jungle shacks are it's just a hell of a lot easier About the time the rain stopped, I began noticing an annoying rattle coming from the front of the bike. 
I stopped to investigate and noticed the front fender was badly cracked and threatening to fly right off. So I got this cracked. It's like this side. Can you repair? Rivets? Ah. Rivets, can you replace tax on Rivets? Oh, okay. uh, rivets. Rivets. Yeah. No, thanks. Dili, salamat. Okay, so the deal is this thing just started rattling around on the uh, ride and I looked and noticed it's cracked so he's got some rivets he's gonna put in there. 150 pesos, three bucks. Oh, thank you. So I'm uh, It's too late. It's too late. Oh. No, you can learn. No. No. <laughs> Better late than never. All right, hanging out here with my new friends uh, in this uh, motorcycle shop. Uh, motorcycle shops pretty much the same everywhere. A lot of ball busting going on. A lot of shit talking. <laughs> What's up, guys? Okay. 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 <laughs> hey, como esta? Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, do you have two big? Oh, yeah, sir. Oh, okay. Big, big size or small? Uh, what size? One liter. Okay. One liter nine. Tag na? 25 each. Okay. You know who Bisaya is, sir? Ah, uh, nagtuon pa ko Bisaya. Ah, nagtuon to Bisaya. Ah. Ano ba yan? Kamao na jo kag Bisaya, sir. Nagtuon to Bisaya. Thank you, sir. Okay, daghan salamat. Salamat, sir. Salamat po. Okay. 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 Oh wow, so you grow a lot of uh, vegetables? Yeah. Okay. Organic vegetables. Wow. That's a bio fertilizer, bio inside. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. So this farm is organic certified farm. No kidding. Do you have fish in there? Fish? Fish? Yeah, we have fish. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, here. Okay. You can open the window if you can, if you want. Okay. And you can wait. So it's okay. Okay, so you have you a fan? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So I will off. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, electric outlet? Yeah. To charge? Yeah. Okay, yeah, up there? Over there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, All right, thank you, my friend. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. So how about your dinner for today, tonight? Uh, you want us to cook your dinner? Uh, no, I go into town. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. This evening, you, you can drink the hot cacao drinks because we only oh. have cacao. Oh, okay. Here, so you can drink cacao uh, cacao drinks. Oh, nice, drinks. nice. Yeah. Does the cacao grow uh, here? Yeah, so many. In Boho? Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah, so many. Don't worry, we will have a farm tour later. While these accommodations weren't exactly the Ritz, they were a damn sight better than sleeping on the soggy ground. Well, this is definitely the most bare bones room I've stayed in. Just a bed and a bamboo shack with a fan. Uh. All right, pancit canton, which is a type of noodle dish with vegetables sauteed with some pork, a little calamansi lime. Just, uh, the whole trip has pretty much been plagued by uh, overcast, rainy, type of stuff like this, but luckily the uh, those jungle shacks are pretty cheap.
this place is absolutely incredible. Every time you look around, you see something, you're just like, holy. Uh, so my breakfast is served over there. I got some uh, organic vegetables and of course rice. Looks like some eggs. This might be bitter melon. He's got uh, all kinds of stuff growing out here. Mm, bitter melon with egg. Absolutely delicious. But yeah, me and uh, a couple of French girls were uh, talking to this guy last night, uh, the guy that owns the place. And uh, it turns out he's some kind of like a master gardener and is sort of a consultant for a lot of other like big farms and things like that. Just a really interesting character. So here, these are our uh, bees. The stingless bees, the same. So many bees here in the box. Wow. Many people ask me why I have a colony of bees. It's because uh, when you have a colony of bees in your farm, it increases production 30 to 50% regarding vegetables and fruits. You know, they attack me. But don't worry. No sting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 30 to 50%. That's a lot of percent. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big a difference, percent. man. But you know, regarding coconut, increase production up to 85%. Really? Yeah, it's probably wow. tested. Why? Because they like coconut, so they attack me. Yeah. Yeah, do you like coconut? Oh, well, you probably smell like coconut. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Before wow. the typhoon, we have almost 200 plus colonies of bees. Uh huh. But after the typhoon, the remain is only five, and now after two okay. years, so we have uh, almost 80 plus colony of bees. Wow. And before we put it in a clay pot like Holy this. Holy man. We uh. put it here <laughs> before the typhoon. Okay. We have so many colonies, but after the typhoon. All clay pots, bees colony collapse. It's because it's because it's, it was falling. Oh, and some are yeah broken. They had a bad uh, typhoon out here. What was it? Uh, Last December 2021. Okay, 2021. Yeah, very strong, strongest typhoon, a super typhoon, first ever hit in Bohol. Wow. Yeah. So two years is not enough for recovery. Yeah, and these are some onions right here. Spring onions. Spring onions. I love those. You know what's the what's what's this? Uh, it's an imported cigarette. Oh, cigarettes. Uh, it's an imported cigarette uh, container. <laughs> there are so many rice fields here, but sad to know that me, I have no rice field, so find ways and means on how to produce rice. So this is it. <laughs> so we can produce our own rice by doing this, and we can control easily, as you can see, very healthy. And it's organic. No need to and you don't have to get your feet wet. Yeah, yeah. Out in the field. Yeah. So is this a technique that you've kind of perfected and and uh, figured for me, out? Nothing, nothing will be considered as perfect. But I'm yeah. trying my best to to make it product to make it more productive. If you don't use chemicals, uh -huh. you have you can see spiders. Yeah. And spiders are the top predators for the insect pest. Oh yes. So if you so spiders are good. Yeah. If you do spray, all of the predators, including the spiders, will be gone will be died. It's because of chemical wow. spray. Yeah. The natural predator. Yeah, the natural predator. It's uh, somewhat like a wow. chick and balance. That's incredible yeah, that uh, you've figured out how to grow them in these pots food chain, like this. A food weight, like that. But it takes a lot of uh, care, like a lot of water, right? You have to... Ah, it's up. You know, no, no worries regarding control of water because if you have passion and hard work regarding uh -huh. the, the farming, so it's it's not a problem. Yeah. The problem is okay. your 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 way of thinking only. Yes. Yeah. If yeah. you are always right, said, right. If you always said, ah, this is not, this is very hard. This is not good. This is very yeah. difficult. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah. You always complain, complain. That's that's the result. And so you sort of, from an early age, kind of found that you were really good at this, and it was something you were really passionate uh, maybe, about. Maybe it's because of my passion. That's why I like farming. Yep. I like plant, plant, plant. Yep. Before my neighbor said, "Are you a gay?" And uh, <laughs> yeah, always said, I am, I, "Are you a gay?" Why? Because why you like flowers? Because I have, I am. It's my passion to work yeah. to, to plant more, to, yeah. more vegetables. Yeah. More ornamental and flowering plants. Flowers and plants have nothing to do with sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's it's uh. Not familiar because mostly girls, a female likes flowers. Yeah. But me, I like flowers. Yeah. But I'm not a gay. Well, they're hundred well, percent. Hey. <laughs> Likewise, 100%, brother. Yeah. Hundred percent male. But so you, uh, you ended up getting a scholarship, right? I am a full scholar in the university. Wow. Uh, Japanese 
uh, company. Okay. Book binding, printing, and folding company and in you, Japan. You lived in Japan for a few years? Uh, I worked in Japan for three years. Okay. As a book binding, printing, and folding operator. Wow, what was that and like? That's why I knew how to speak, write, and read Japanese language. You can write Japanese? Yeah, of course. No kidding. Yeah. So, how many languages do you speak Me? altogether? Uh, yeah. Japanese, uh, Filipino language, uh, of course, Tagalog. English? And English yeah. Four languages? This, uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, a, li a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> that's No, that's a lot of languages. Yeah. So this is your fertilizer? Yeah, this is my fertilizer. Sir. No okay. farm waste because all of the farm waste here yep. will be put it here. Yep. So the maracuya, the passion fruits pale. Oh, wow. The, the squash skin. So we ferment it and allow it to decompose for a few months. Wow. Then the liquid part will be a source of liquid per organic fertilizers. Okay, let me smell yeah, smell like sugar. Oh, it smells, doesn't smell bad. No, doesn't smell bad. It smells natural. Yeah, of course. And here also is... Oh, snails. Snails, a, a source of calcium phosphate. Yeah, Yeah. for the shells, I guess. For the, yeah. for the shells. Do and you... also the fertilizer, as a liquid fertilizer also. Organic farming, there's money really in organic farming. Uh -huh. Oh, if yeah. You have passion and hard work. But if you have no passion and hard work, don't go you into can't organic. Do it. <laughs> but not good if you do, if you do chemical farming yeah because it can really deplete soil it can really yeah uh, not helping to the environment mm -hmm. it's, it's not really good to and, and not good to eat yeah not good to eat also and this one is my asian box land turtles before the typhoon we have almost 500 heads of la uh, asian what? Box land turtles but after the typhoon uh. the remain is only 115 and now okay. we are going to re to re rebreed it so these are are they endangered at yeah, the moment yeah really yeah before many people eat land mm. turtles yeah they're but, delicious uh, yeah, i'm sure it's, yeah it's delicious yeah uh, as, uh, like, like a chicken. soup and, and what was the name of this turtle again land box turtle asian box land turtles asian box land turtle well, we have so many uh we we released three times already really yeah what's that an eel oh is that an eel? Yeah, wait a moment. Oh, wow. Wait a moment. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be happy about that eel being in there. <laughs> you will eat my fish. Well, you can't have that. Oh. Bye-bye oh. eel. Uh, gotcha. This is the male. Okay. Uh, a little bit concave or uh, Oh, yeah. Curved. yeah. You can see it right away. Yeah, so female, flat. flat, concave, male. Yep. Why? This has uh, ovaries right here. More room for the ovaries? No. No? By law of nature, during mating like this. Oh, for, so oh, I concave. see. Okay, here, all right, all right. They mate now, here at the okay. back <laughs> okay. on top. <laughs> so they fit together like yeah, a jigsaw together, puzzle. Yeah, the male bite the neck of the female in order that wow. the female sex organ will be going up. Okay. And that's the time that the male sex organ will be going down and they mate here. Wow. In Julie's Eco Garden, we live a simple life yep. and simple accommodation. Yep. So if you want to stay here, don't expect uh, uh, like hotel accommodation, yeah. like yeah. expensive uh, exactly. bed beddings. Because exactly. we live in a simple life. That's, why, that's why I like it here. You feel like <laughs> you're, you're in nature, but you have a roof over your head, so you're staying dry. So this is turmeric. And this oh, that's turmeric? Okay, so th that's a root, right? Yeah, and these are my bees. Oh, these are the bees. Yeah. So you, you see, if you have a colony of bees in your wow. farm, of course your farm is very productive. Yeah, Yeah. I'm excited to come back next year and see where you're at next year. Yeah, and... hoping you can come back. Yeah. And these are my chickens, see? Oh, chickens, okay. Yeah, but yeah. many monitor lizards attack my chicken. Really? Yeah. I caught three monitor lizards here and two pythons. How big? Monitor lizard? Yeah. Like that. Fuck. And how big was the python? The python is just small like this. Okay. But they attack my chicks. Yeah? The chicks? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever seen like the documentary about those Komodo dragons? Yeah, I always... In, in Komodo? I always uh, like to see Komodo dragons or yeah. uh, Born to be Wild or yes. like Animal uh -huh. Planet. Yeah, yeah. Because I love... I love animals. Animals, yeah. Wild animals. But those things, I would not want to mess with a, a full-grown Komodo dragon because they big, are just... Very big, yeah. And the, the teeth are like slimy. They have bacteria. 
and they and say you, you can, can you can kill people yeah because yeah. they have they have poison yeah yeah you see already make a cow yes uh no i didn't see it that's oh that's cacao. it there are so many cacao over there there is the fruit of the cacao and no chemicals see very very wow. productive yeah baby turtles very small wow. so lots of papaya see holy yellow, yellow. damn so after two days, we can eat this one. Wow, that's yes. incredible. I've never seen that many papayas on a really? friggin', I don't think so. Yeah, this one, oh, this one is right. Holy moly. Ah. <laughs> Good it's catch. It's a papaya. Is it? Yeah. And. Oh yeah. Whoop, ah, I'm a catcher, I'm a catcher. <laughs> You can bring this one wherever oh. you go. Oh, thank you very much. So, so that you can eat. Oh, Dakan Salamat. This will be a good lunch for me. Yeah, good, good source of vitamin C also. Yeah, I know these are good because they're coming from your farm. Yeah. So maybe if you want to go back, uh, if you want to come back here, maybe for a few years, yeah, you are very much welcome here. For a few years? Yeah, with your yeah. wife. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Why? Well, well you, you, you so <laughs> I, I just like my freedom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, my brother, thank you so much for the tour. You're welcome. Thanks. No, uh, like this hey, because, we'll do like this. Yeah. Very, very dirty. But there's food in a dirty hands. Yes. Yeah. There's plenty of and, nutrients and everything uh, else. Never forget that no beast, no food. And yes. of course, no farmers, no food. Yep. So people really need to support organic farms yeah much better after leaving joe leeds i had a few more hours to kill before the afternoon ferry so i headed to a nearby waterfall i'd spotted on the map okay Come on. I thought would be a quick journey soon took me into the hinterlands as I trudged along the muddy road. Como esta? This way? <laughs> Woo! Como esta? Uh, yeah, waterfall? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Up there? Yeah. Okay, so that's my... Uh, 15 meters. Okay. My own auto. The guy on the steps was sweating bullets. He'd given a couple of foreigners a lift to the waterfall and hadn't counted on the road being a slippery mess. With the rain coming down, he was worried about the ride back. He's already done, I think, I think done or they come back. It's not done. Not done? No. Wait a morning. <laughs> It'll be all right. If that road is okay, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Well. Because if they have rain, uh, more slippery, it they have coming rain. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. So you have uh, foreigners? Yeah, I have foreigners. Okay. How many, two? two? Two people. That's why I think I think if it is or not, because yeah. see, there's a little bit rain. Yeah. More yeah, rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they're going to know they have an adventure. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a swim uh wasn't uh, intending on going swimming today but you really can't uh, come out to a place like this and uh not expect to get wet it's absolutely gorgeous so that was truly 
One of the most remarkable things uh, I've ever done and seen going under that waterfall. It's just a big sort of cavernous space. Like I said, wasn't expecting to get wet today. Time on the island now drawing to a close. I headed northward toward the ferry station. Uh, gusto ko og sisig pork with rice. Ah, okay. Okay. If there's one thing that symbolizes the Philippine Islands, it's a steaming mound of rice on a plate in the shape of the vessel used to scoop it out. All right, pork sisig, one of my favorites. Bitter melon with egg, great for breakfast. Rice, staple of the Filipino diet. Got uh, all kinds of delicious food up here. Always served uh, Filipino style with a bunch of stuff uh, laying out on the counter like that. People sort of walk by, open up each one. I'll check it out, that looks good. I am uh, headed back north uh, to catch the ferry out of Tubigal, ultimately flying back to uh, Virginia and then uh, getting ready for a presumably cold ass ride uh, down to Florida to work bike week. But uh, it's just been uh, an absolutely awesome trip. A lot of love and uh, admiration for the Filipino people. So uh, anyway, heading that way. All in all, my time in the Philippines had been an unforgettable experience. So it was with a certain amount of sadness that I was finally leaving. I'd gotten to know and admire this place and the people in it, and I knew for sure I'd have to come back. Meanwhile, the road up ahead was calling, so I began the long journey back to my home. enjoyed that last installment of uh, the journey through Southeast Asia. Just wanted to issue a special thank you to uh, everybody that watched, uh, liked, commented, subscribed, donated. I couldn't have done it with, uh, without you guys, so uh, I really appreciate the support. I'm currently back in Virginia uh, getting this bike uh, all packed up and ready to, uh, to ride down to Florida for bike week. Uh, if anybody wants to come say hi, uh, you can find me on the JMP lot uh, working for Memphis Shades as usual. So uh, as my way of saying thanks to uh, all of you guys, uh, I'm gonna eat this entire habanero pepper. This is probably a horrible mistake, but uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for the support, guys. I appreciate it. This is for you. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, as usual, I've included an optional donate link in the Dropbox for anybody that might like to contribute to this project. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the road. Okay, that's hot. Whoa. Ah.
Ah. Oh, baby. <laughs> 